All right, guys, what's going on? I got to do a quick video for you today. I'm just trying to head out to the gym, and then I remembered I should do a video. Um, today was pretty good. I tried to trade Tesla on the short side, or on the long side, and I got ruined. The loss was a little bigger than it should have, uh, than it should have been. Let me show you here. Uh, but I really want to show you some good setups here on the SPY and why this stuff works and why Tesla works really well too. So Tesla here, I tried to catch it long um, from this gap fill from yesterday's open. This gap fill in here, we wicked down to it and then we ripped from 788 to almost 850. The contracts, I almost got in at six bucks all the way up to like 24 and I was like fuck I missed it so uh, again I tried I bought this dip right here it came back up and then on this dump I was underwater I added once and I had to stop out or no no I added like right in I added it like the double bottom and then I immediately had to stop out the loss was just too big I had to cut it <clears throat> um, wasn't crazy but it was definitely bigger than it should have been so I made it all back in the trade that I was already in on the SPX. I will show you on the SPY, the setup. Now, yesterday, oh, sorry, there's so many lines here. Let's see if there's another one that's better. <clears throat> this goes to show you guys that it doesn't matter what you trade. You just have to have your freaking plan, right? So I see so much opportunity in this today. The chart guys who only trade charts. This is an inverted head and shoulders. Right here. Beautiful trade. You take it right here off of these highs. This pivot point as it comes back down. You sell up towards this pivot right here which is the shoulder. Beautiful trade for almost 7 points. The options would have gone up probably a hundred percent actually let me show you so if you went to the SPX uh, 3325 SPX 3325 so yeah I'm just uh, again today it's gonna be about value I don't want to ramble off on just oh I traded this and this I want to give you guys some value so 33 what did I say 25 let's take a peek at these you gotta pick them up there on that dip they probably wouldn't have been about six bucks or something. And then, oh God, this takes so long. So this, where was the head and shoulders? Uh, right at 1145, 1145. So right here, you would have picked up a contract. Let's say it's $3, so 300 bucks. You have a dollar stop for $100 or whatever your, your risk is. Or you take two contracts with 50 cents stop, and if you ride it all the way up towards, even if you sold right here at six, with two contracts, that's $600. With one contract, that's $300. And all you took was one to $300 risk. So that example right there is good for people who just trade the chart. Now, if you want to trade moving averages, um, if you trade the bigger time frames like the hourly, the whole day it was riding the 9 EMA. So maybe you would have stopped out if you had taken it uh, later in the day. But in terms of my setups, so with low caps, I used to take my favorite setup in low caps was as it blasted through daily support or daily resistance and then stayed up there and it came back down. As it bounced off of that support again, I used to take it. So as it dipped into the previous daily candle. I do the exact same thing, but on large caps and with the hourly chart. So just pretend this was a daily chart. So this is the close right here. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six candles. Six candles, consolidation above that level. And then this candle finally comes back down into this candle's close. It goes a little bit lower, but that's essentially where I was adding to my long. And my target was high of day and all-time highs, which were up here in this area. Now, I did sell most of my position 
um, at highs at 33, 32 or so on the SPX. And I sold one left up here. And then I was done. I had calls that I bought last night as well. Let me show you those. So these were like 10 cents and they gapped up to over a dollar 15. I sold at a dollar 5. It was just nuts. This is the thing with options though. If they expire worthless, like look at this is sick. Right here, uh, I bought them yesterday at 10 cents and just one extra or two extra contracts at 15 cents. And then all the way up, this camera is screwed up again. All the way up pre-market I can sell these options at a dollar five and that was half of them and then on the way down I sold the rest you know pretty much for nothing so that would have been closer to five or six hundred dollars if I'd sold them all up here that is the power of options this trade was like seventy two dollars is what it cost and that would have been six hundred profit up there like there's so much that you can do with options you can manage risk you can risk a portion of your gains for an extended move uh, the next day. There's just so much stuff you can do. I don't even care. I didn't even look at penny stocks today. Let's do it right now. So you saw that. It went from 15 cents to over a buck. And then meanwhile, you're trading this trash that doesn't respect any... Like, how are you supposed to manage risk on this? Out of nowhere, in one candle... MYO drops from 37 to 28 like that is disgusting even if you have just a hundred shares you almost lost a grand right there and uh, how fast did that happen yeah that happened in like 15 seconds like there's just not much that you can do it's it's so easy to just get wrecked and dumped on so I don't even care I don't care if this stuff is moving it's just junk man it's all junk now, if you make money on it and you know how they work, then kudos to you. Um, they're not actually all terrible. It's just it doesn't make any sense to me to trade them when I can trade stuff like the SPX, Tesla, uh, Amazon, Roku, all that crap. So hopefully that was useful. I'd love to hear from you guys what parts of this video that you do like and what parts you don't. What do you like me talking about? What do you like me not talking about? What do you find the most useful? What do you find the least useful? Please let me know. And other than that, see you later.